Hey everybody, welcome to another round of Kanji Plays. Hopefully you can hear me fine. I'm using the mic at the table as you here. <laughs> so uh, it's facing my face. So hopefully you can hear fine and things will sound well. So, uh, but thank you so much. Uh, welcome to another round of Kanji Plays. Getting into episode two of Perseverance. Uh, Castaway Chronicles. This is a very dense game by Mind Clash. The first uh, episode one kind of introduce you to the base mechanic rules, and then episode two is like, "Cool, we're gonna we're gonna kill you." So um, I am going to attempt to play uh, episode two's solo mode with setup for people who are just want to kind of get this to the table, and we'll go through setup. And then we'll play through. Um, we'll play. We'll play through. Or, you know, to the end of uh, the solo mode, and then be it. And then uh, after that, I want to try playing the. It's like this. Uh, it's a campaign. It's a, like two missions, and then that's pretty much it. But I want to play it that way. You'll get the experience of you know I did the solo mode. Um, this one I'll be doing the um the solo mode for episode two, and then get to see. The and if it's something that strikes your fancy, add it to your collection. Or you've probably already done so already if it's something that's... A lot of people love, 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 love Mind Clash. So um, this is going to be... I'm going to be hitting the book a lot for this one. Um, I, I read through and then I watched uh, the video uh, by Paul Grogan. I'm going to add his, his, his how to play videos in the description. Um, so if you want to know, he goes through all of that stuff in the how to play uh very well done as paul does very very well done all the time but um it's gonna be pretty that i'm gonna be hitting up the book a lot this is complex times 10 for me uh for other people who play it's probably not that bad so i will see how this goes and uh if you join at any time or if you come in and you're, you're watching or later on if you see i made a mistake let me know hey brian what's going on welcome welcome pull up a chair so, um, before I begin, thank my patrons, my subscribers, and if you're neither and you're just in here to hang out um, on this Tuesday um, morning or night, wherever you are in the world, you're always have a, you always have a spot at the table. You're welcome as well. Just to let you know, I've turned on um, subscriber only mode uh, just because I don't want these storm bots and getting in on our fun. So, okay, all right, I've rambled on enough. I am, we're, we're going to sort this out. I'm very nervous because this is, I, as I've been going through this and I've been watching videos, I'm still confused. So hopefully we'll work it out together and we'll sort it. So anyway, let's get some information. All right, so um, Perseverance Castaway Chronicles, episodes one and I uh, got a 7.8 on Board Game Geek. It delivered last year from its uh, from launch. I believe episode two and four are supposed to be coming out sometime later this year in terms of uh, crowdfunding. So you'll have to check out for that um, for Mind Clash's site to put that stuff out. But a great group of people created this game and put a lot of work in it. There's a lot of work that came into this. Um, I believe I correctly solo mode is done by uh, David Tertsey and John Albertson. So uh, they worked on the solo mode for, um, for episode one and two. They worked on the solo mode for episode one, and they worked on it for episode two. So um, I'll give my thoughts at the end of this. This is a copy I purchased my uh, I purchased at Gen Con at, uh, last year, and it's just kind of on my Calyx Gathering dust. But um, uh, one of my patrons said that they would love to see me play it. So here it is. I'm here for the, you know. Uh, the and the Patreons gets what's the Patreons uh, wants. So uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, let's see where we are. One to four players, best play three. I think I agree with that. Uh, the solo modes are there for people who like the solo challenge and the point chase. Um, it's definitely in here for you to try to beat it. Challenge. Uh, hey, Derek. Hello, everyone. I just saw a Karen getting arrested on YouTube and thought of you. <laughs> Karen and Chad, they are back. They are back. Um, so best play three player, 80 to 180 minutes. Um, it is a lot more because we're going to be streaming. Anytime you stream a game, it's going to take a lot more time because you're doing rules explanation. And you're learning while the chat is learning as well and asking questions. So that's how it goes. 
Uh, community says 14 plus. Uh, they agree with the age range for this, and the weight's about a 4.2 out of 5. For me, I think it's higher for episode 2. Uh, episode 1, I'd probably say, is about a 3 out of 5. Episode 2, to me, like, this is... Uh, for a lot of people who, are, who understand, uh, who are really good at Euros and playing them a long time, probably grok this game, no problem. Me, I'm just getting into this, and this is... So, um, but they said this is typical Mind Clash. I do, I did purchase Tricarian, um at UK Game Expo, so I do have that, the base game. And I'll play that to try it out, but... Ooh, let's hope that it's not the, uh, I, this crunch, maybe? I don't know. Um, but 4.26 out of 5, I think it's a little bit higher for, episode, for me, personally. Uh, great group of designers who work very hard on this, on this project. It's beautiful. It shows Mind Clash. You know, it's Mind Clash. Um, a great group of uh, artists did some beautiful artwork on this game. Very vibrant, very great, and published by Mind Clash. Okay. Uh, I've talked nonsensically long enough. <laughs> I'm so worried. All right, let's go ahead and get down to the table and uh, check. This thing is a table beast, and we're going to do a setup of it. Got some nasty artifacts. This is what happens every time you stream live. Something goes wrong, something goes screwy, and it's just every time. Every time. Turn it off if it's. All right, so let's. That should take care of the artifact. Okay, so we're going to do our setup uh, just so you understand how this stuff works, especially if you're going to purchase the game. And the, the rule book is fantastic for setup. It is, whoever wrote the rule book, great work. The rule book is fantastic for setup. It's just more, if you're like, eh, rule book, schmool book, and you just want to watch a video and learn how to set it up, uh, we're going to do that uh, in this, and I'll timestamp it after the video is fully processed on YouTube so that you can say setup and then session. And uh, because I purchased the, this is Gen Con. I actually got the Kickstarter edition, which came with this lovely double-sided dice tray. The um, if I flip it on this side for episode two, it's even smaller. But I, so I just kept it on the episode one. Side. All right. So got a lot of stuff to talk about. <laughs> a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, let's let's just get into uh, main play setup. So main play setup. What you're gonna do is you're gonna play it, lay the board out. This is, the, this is not the uh, episode one board. It actually has two game boards in it, double-sided game board box. This is the episode two game board. We'll definitely know the difference. Between um, and you will notice that if you're playing solo mode, you're going to play, it's like playing a three-player game because you have Nara Camilla, who I've, who I've dubbed Chad and Karen. Um, so you will play on the two to three-player side for this. Uh, what you want to do is, lay the board out like that. On here, you will get these set of tiles that look like this. They look like this. On the back, they'll have a B-side. The, re the reason, and if you're saying B-side, what do you mean? If you look up here in the top corner, you'll see B. Look over here, you'll see that. So basically, that is created um, so you can say your difficulty of the game to play with your party. So uh, what you'll do is you'll take all these and they're numbered. They're numbered. Uh, let me. I know um, I got I got some interesting back on on round. So I'll try to mitigate it when we start play. But for setup, this is probably crazy important for you. So you see P six A. You'll actually find P six, and you'll either use the A or the B side, and you'll just place those tiles on there. And there's two tiles. There's the planes. That's here, and then there's the canyons. That's the purple. So, uh, can't find my, my pink. Oh, there it is. All right. So, if you'll notice on here, you see purples out the purple outlines. That's for um, canyon adventures, and then you'll see the outlines. That's for plains adventures. So, if you have to, if you're doing an adventure in the plains, this is the area that you're doing it in. It's very specific. You'll cover these up by number the way that they go. When you get to the temple itself, you choose which difficulty you want to do it on. If it's on B, you'll see two. 
sides, you pick one and flip the other over. And if you're uh, doing A side, you just pick the C and line the rest out. What you'll also find is if you look here, you'll see that there's this arrow. That's the starter dino that's in here. So there's actually a new dino, a nice little purple one that's super mega crazy hard. So wherever you see this symbol, you're going to get that corresponding colored dino and put it on all of them. I've already pre-populated, which is great. Uh, so awesome. I usually back down to the crazy how we are fighting back. <laughs> no problem. Thank you, Matthew, for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. All right, so we are, um, so you'll put everywhere that you see one, right? You see one right there. So I will grab. Blue, and I'll put the blue on there and you'll fill it up. It's all on the sides everywhere you see it. You put a dino. So you'll start with green, blues, and purples outlined where they're supposed to be. This is just kind of the outward area. There it is. <laughs> So awesome, dude. I usually back down to these crazy people. Now we're fighting back. No problem. We will fight back. So, um, but once you get it all set up, this is what this is going to be. That is this side of the board. You're, you're also going to get um, this thing, which is your rally, I believe, uh, totem that goes here. You're just going to put that off to the side, and you're going to take the, the this decision die, the one through the D6, the red D6, and put it next to it. That's all you got to do. Over here, um, when you're setting up the military stacks, like you've seen set up before, uh, you'll just give these a shuffle. These will be for, and I want you to be very, very cognizant of the ones you choose. Remember the other one had like a Dyna for skeleton? This one has this nice little ray gun that's on it that lets you know that these are the military stacks for episode two. So make sure that you get those stacks when you do. So... It may be, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that you're saying a but, oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to say a but in there. It's like, it, it might be me, but, and I was like, but what, what, what are you hearing? Is something, it's something to miss. So, uh, it is you. <laughs> so you shuffle these two. It may be me, but it's can't cutting out a bit. Am I cutting out? Are y'all not hearing me? I don't, I don't sound, I mean, the meter is moving up. It's going up the way it sounds good over here. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let me know if y'all are hearing me cut in and out. This mic I've been adjusting and I'm trying to keep it as close to my face as possible. So probably you might hear me just kind of shift a little. Uh, I hear you, but on the end of some of your sentences, it likes it drops quickly. Ooh, that's weird. Huh. All right. I'll keep an eye on it, Brian. This, uh. Uh, it drops quickly. Yeah, keep an eye on it. If you if you kind of hear it, just keep chop cutting or something that's throwing it off. Let me know. Um, I'll I'll mess with some of the settings to see if I can fix that. But no, good looking out. I appreciate it. All right, so we've got this side of the board set up. It's all good to go. Then we're gonna come down to this side of the board for sure. So when we come down to this, I'm gonna zoom in again for people who don't like the zoom. That's okay. I'm only gonna do it here for now, and then it should be fine. All right, so um, we've got, so now the wall has been built. If you remember from episode one, uh, we were worried about dealing with building up a wall. Well, now, now, we're, ugh, now we're not doing the wall build thing anymore. So uh, we've got sustenance, military expansion, and construction. So before, remember, I think this was defense. There was expansion military and there was uh, sustenance that was on here, but the new actions changed. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to grab our lovely, lovely um, chiefs. Uh, and now the captain is a new one because there's a new zone called Discover. And we're going to just random rando these. Hey, Kit Carpo, what's going on? Welcome, welcome, pull up a chair. We're just going to rando these and place them, uh, place them down. I don't care where they go uh, so, as long as they're placed wherever. And the one that, the one that you have left over... That's going to go into the discovery zone. So whenever you do any work out here, that's where you get uh, that recognition for them. So you get them all set up. Okay. Then what you're going to do 
is uh, these zones that are out here, the outpost off, uh, the outpost offer. You're gonna take these, give these a shuffle. <clears throat> give these a nice little quick one. And then you're gonna just draw three, one, two, three, and put the rest face down at the top of the stack on the outpost board. Like I said, I'm, I'm shifting all around a little bit, but just so you can see these boards straight up. And then you're gonna flip these over and place, uh, you're gonna flip these over and place them down on here as these are outposts that you can put down as you're leveling out. And we'll talk about outposts when we get to, uh, when you know, when we start building them and building them out. Only reason why is because if I sit here and talk to you about every single thing this game does, it will be three hours before we play. Uh, Tim Root, uh, kick the engineer out with the dinos. I'm sure he's not happy. <laughs> hello, hello, Tim, what's going on? So um, then you grab, these are dino attack cards and you'll grab the green planes deck. You'll give it a shuffle. So, and then you'll grab the canyon dino attack cards. So whenever there's a breach, this is how they breach. The, you draw one of these cards and resolve it. So there you go. Put those down there, and that side set up. You remember the dice that we have from episode one. You you get um, eight neutral dice, so that's the white dice. You take eight of them, and then one from each player. In solo mode, because you're... Hey, Frederick, what's going on? In solo mode, because you're playing against Chad and Karen, you have to add a red and a and a yellow, but you uh, since I'm playing with green again, because I'm using the same characters last time, and her board is more complex than last time, you're going to get one of those green dice. Your total dice that you're going to play for solo mode is going to be 11. So keep that in mind, that you're going to be playing with 11 dice. No more, no less. All right. Um, so I'll roll those dice at the end. We come down to our character board. And once again, we're going to give the zoom, so uh, bear with me. So our character board has grown exponentially. Before it was just, you know, you get, you get valor, you get votes, uh, you get like... Uh, the fence, and then you could spend that stuff to get points after dino breaches and all this other stuff. Well, the dino breaches don't come into your um, into your into your civilization anymore. All the dino breaches happen on the outpost further out. So now things get a little bit more complicated with you. I'm using the same character, uh, Adelita, that we used last time. But how we set her up? We have three um, three outpost towers that we are going to put out, just put them on the board. This is a dual layer board, which I wish the, the other one was as well, but probably because of you know monetary costs, it was a little bit lower and that's just how it worked out. Here, this tells you your starting uh, set for episode two, which is one food, one scrap, um, one, where did that, one of these, one of those, which I'll tell you what those are in two, like I said, I always have to go to the book. Uh, island resource. So it is one food, one scrap, one island resource, one story, and two glow berries. You'll get one light infantry and one valor. That's what you start off with. And then your vote, you're going to put your vote icon here and your permanent votes to, uh, right there in the divot. So we'll talk about that when we get there. Don't worry about it. Don't be like, oh, I need to know what everything is right now. We're just doing setup, all right? These are perks. That's what these things are called. And they're perks that you get that will buff your play as you, pl as you go. For instance, on this one, if you have this perk, you can then, whenever you're doing an attack on the dinos, you get to attack a blue dino for free. So, so it kind of helps you with your actions and attributes as you go through the game. And as we pick the different ones, we can talk about what those are. But that's all this is. Chief of Security perks, uh, Chief Mate perk, the Captain perks, the Steward perks, and the Chief perks. So these will be kind of the things that you get as you go through that. Um, this, of course, is the crux of the part that I least like about it is, um, you know, this is acceptance and then this is followers. So you start off the game with 20 followers and 10 acceptance this in this game that's how you begin and that is your that is you fully set up on every character for the first time you play all of them start off the same boards are the same the art's different uh so just keep that in mind all right now <laughs> let's talk about dad and karen 
So they still have their dissenter board that sits um, like this, but it's flipped to the other side for episode two. And they actually have now what's called a reserve, as you noticed. Before, that, that wasn't there. It was just their annoying stupid faces. And, uh, but now they have a reserve. They can use those reserves to flip dice and or activate their abilities on their, on their agenda. In episode two, they have an agenda or something that they're trying to accomplish and shut you down. So this is what you're going to go for. For our first game, because this is truly going to be my first game. I've read, I've watched playthroughs. I tried to, to set a play and my brain broke. So this will be my first true play going in. So like I said, if you've played this before and you're in chat, uh, your help is greatly appreciated as we go through here. But I've, I've read enough that I can, I can BS my way through it, <laughs> if that's a better way to put it. So what the, what the game says is that if you're starting off, you want to do the, the herder agenda for Chad and the negotiator agenda for Karen. For people who are watching this, that's not how those names work. It's what I dubbed them other than Narek and Camilla because... Yes. All right. So you set their reserve to zero. So you take one of those cubes and put them up there to zero. Put these at the side of their board. And when they as, as these things come up, I'll explain what all these things are. And then you get the deck of that you saw exactly from season one, but this is for season two, as you can see, the laser dinosaur uh, bones, right? So you'll take these, you'll the bottom three. I've already put it at the bottom here, but you take, uh, you find this card here, which is the reshuffle card, and you get all the two others. You shuffle them up, and that will be the bottom of the deck. And then you shuffle up the rest and put them on top. Right, done, and done. Okay, we're gonna shift again. Come up here, and you see the Plains Adventures deck that you have here. I'm gonna give this a shuffle, and you're gonna draw the top two, place them down. So here, one on top of the deck. Those are Plains Adventures that we could go on that we don't already have. You also get the Canyon Adventures. Shuffle this up. Like I said, this is set up, man. This thing is. Shuffle it, you draw two, put one down, you put here, one here. To me, it's an easier way to keep track of everything instead of reaching all over the board. So that's set. Cool, you're good, you're good. All right, so we've dealt with them, dealt with this setup, we dealt with this setup, we dealt with this. All right, now these agendas that they have, there are five of them. So these are the other three. Because I'm using the herder agenda and the negotiator agenda on them, that leaves me with this. What you're going to do is you're going to just rant. And this isn't when, you, when you're like, oh, that'll be your agenda. It really is. <laughs> so I'll pick this one rando and flip it over. And that is our victory kit. Uh, M. Matson 7 thank you so much for subscribing. So our victory condition says to win. And we'll, we'll lovely, lovely. Does not look bad. But to win, I need 90 followers and 55 acceptance. We will lose if there are three rampages. So that's our loss condition. This is our win condition. And of course, you know, we're, we're chasing it. Other two, return to the box. Okay. They also tell you to get, if, you're, if it's your first game, to get the squatter starting value. So this tells you what you're going to start with. See that 20 followers and 10 acceptance? Remember when I said that? When you start first play your first game, use the squatter starting values, and then it will give like a Tama or Automata or however you say it. It's going to tell you how to do that for the rest of the game. Those two go together as your win conditions and your AI when things determine. You'll then look for the Plains, Plains Adventure cards with this lovely symbol. Give them a shuffle. There's four of them, so take those out before you shuffle up the other plane. And deal yourself one. Rest out of the game. Temple Adventure, same thing. Shuffle it up. Deal yourself one. Rest out of the game. These are the two adventures you can run. For the Temple Adventure, when I go to the Temple, I can do the Temple Adventure. For the Plains Adventure, as I move through here, I can do this starting planes adventure, which is basically like the patrols that we did last time. It's that, but these are our starting ones that we have. So I will put these over here on the board. 
because that belongs to me. And we're going to take uh, this. Uh, sorry, that's mine. We're going to take the breach, the, the rampage uh, token and put it on zero on our victory. Con and that's it. We're set. I say that's it like that was light. <laughs> we're 22 minutes in and we've set up the game. Okay, so uh, let us, let us first, because I'm going to roll the die last when we kick it off and get started. We're going to draw our three. Um, one, and, and I hope y'all can see because like I said, I got some feedback about the mass, about the manic amount of zoom that I do. So I'm going to not zoom as much. So I hope y'all can see this. I'll put it on the zoom. Uh, I'll put it on the, the card, um, play, but I won't be like panning all over the board crazily. Right. Um, so you can focus on what's happening. So where do they start? Well, we know that Narek will start in this area, which is the construction build, just like episode one. He'll put one here and gain a influence on the chief of security. Then we have, um, I called him Nair, Chad. Then we have Karen, who is going to start on this end, which is the discovery section. We're going to take hers, and when it comes to discovery, she'll put an influence out here. But when it comes to discovery section, it's actually, instead of placing one of her little settlement things, we're going to make use Got a long way to go to catch a Rob average. <laughs> hey, that man's the pro. He's the pro, not me. So we um we are, they have these new little things that are here that are called camp. That's what they look like. It's just is that a pentagon. It looks like a, it's a pentagon instead of the the little uh, tower that's there. So instead of placing a um a settlement, we're gonna place a camp. And usually, it, there's rules for place in the camp. This is me running off of Paul's, uh, Paul Grogren's uh, set of stuff, but I need to not do that. And very descriptive about how I tell you all about it. Uh, wouldn't be. Like I said, I'm going to be hitting up the book a lot because I want to use, I want to basically say, um, intelligently say what's happening so you understand as you and it'll mean me going to the rule book which hey get over it <laughs> i am tired all right so let's find um resolving effects uh primary actions let's find here it is so it says several actions will instruct you to find the most or least desired location in the discovery zone so when it comes to placing camps for the ai that's what you're supposed to do See the image below also to be found on the back of the rulebook that assigns a value to each hex. Note that this is different to the reference number on the hexes it's set up. The lower the number, the more desired a location will be. So if you look here, you're saying like the back area is one, the center is two, and then it's further and further out. But they can only place settlements on places that don't have tiles. So all that's available is these two. So when it comes to that, uh, All that I can solving a rampage back of the book. I didn't mean oh it ah. all right so when it comes to it you roll your die to see which one they're gonna go on especially when they're equidistant so for this I'm gonna grab the die and this will be one two three four five six so I'm gonna roll this and it's two so she's gonna place her camp on the camp space Oh. She'll place it on the camp space and gain her influence over there. So she has made a camp that's there. Now, they are still being jerks to you even now, right? Months later, we've built our wall. The captain's back on, on, on his ready to command, and they're still being jerks to you. So uh, she'll place her camp there, and that's where she's going to Okay, for me, I get to pick any of the other zones, which is one, two, three, basically, because this one's gone, this one's gone, so I need to pick one of these three to do my starting like you did in the last one. I am going to do... I'm going to do military. So I'll put military here. 
which means I will gain influence. Now, here is the difference. When you, when you place on the chief steward the first time when you're doing setup, you also get to gain a perk. And zooming for zooming's sake, if you look down here, um, there is levels of perks. So these two are level one, this is level two, and this is level three sets of perks. So you get to gain a level one perk. I could either get this one or that one. I'm going to what those are. <laughs> so let's after the officers. Uh, those are outpost effects. Here we go. Officer perk. So I chose the chief steward, and the chief steward's officer perk for tier one is the first one, which is at the top, is gatherer. When you pick the first option on the gather effect, you gain both the food and the island resource, which is here. So basically, when I pick, when I do this, and I pick the first option, I w it says you gain food or an island resource. If I use that perk, I will gain both. The second one is lobbyist. And because it has an exclamation point, as you can see right here, it means that there is a cost. When it has an exclamation point, you have to look down here and see that it costs a story or a valor to be able to get that perk. And they do that because it's super strong. So it says, when you place your own player die, gain one vote. That's what that symbol is. Whenever I place a player die, so I'm doing expansionism stuff, um, I, will, I will get to, re whenever I place, ooh, refresh. Whenever I, um, whenever I place one of my dice, like replacing a, this placer. No, when I place one, your own die. Whenever I grab my green die and I place it somewhere, I will gain a vote automatically. And because that's pretty strong for gameplay, it goes. Chat, am I still the only one getting cut out audio when you book? Ah, uh, I hope not. Huh. Maybe it's because. This thing's right in my face. <laughs> so if it's if it's coming through cutting off, I don't know. I'm leaning towards my phone being dumb right now. No one else. Yeah, because I'll check. I, I, yeah, I won't know until after the stream because I see the meters going up. You are on your TV getting cut out. Okay. Adjusting. Let's see if that makes it better. Does that make it better? Because now it's pointing directly at my face. <laughs> it's pointing directly at me, so hopefully it's not cutting off. Oh, man. Uh, oh, my TV is fine. Yeah, your TV is... Uh, so you're not hearing me get cut off. Okay, okay. All right. So uh, basically... So basically we get to choose whether we want Defender... Oh, sorry, not defender. It's just the chief steward, gatherer or lobbyist. I think I'm gonna take. Um, I think we'll take. Uh, I'm gonna take lobbyist. I'm gonna go for for uh, most votes. Got my stuff last time, so I will take this and put it on the lobbyist, and I will spend. I will spend. Da 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 da. da. I'll spend the Valor to do that. There we go. So spending a Valor gets me that perk, and we're good. Oh, no, there's no worries. If, if my audio is cutting in and out, it cuts in. It, it, like, messes up your enjoyment. So let me know. If... Can we get back to Karen Beanie and Byraptor? <laughs> yeah, uh, no, you're not distracting me. I want to make sure that y'all are getting the best experience out of this. New mic, right? New mic, so we'll see how it goes. Okay. So we've placed all the stuff. We are ready to play. Let's go ahead and roll these dice. All right, so we've got one. So we just separate them out like we did last time when we played. And always put the neutrals at the top because uh, they will always go for the neutral. So it just kind of stops you from having to you know, mess around with this. Nice variety. I get to go first to place dice. 
So we've we've been down this road before with dice placement. So this shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so what do I want to do? Well, we do have a nice little planes adventure we could do. And these new spots are completely different for what they have. There's adventure and gather over here in sustenance and the pub. So the pub gives us a story and uh, for how many dice we have, we do a story. So it always does that to get you more story points. Um, the gather, we can actually capture dinosaurs that we fight. We can actually capture them on our board in our cages and then release them to help us with stuff. So um, the gather action has some abilities for that. And then we have an adventure where we could go on the board and go out on an adventure. We can also discover. When we discover, fun stuff happens, right? Um, but I think I want to place a settlement, to be honest with you. I think that might be fun because that could get us another perk. Uh, that could help build us up. We're not in any danger right now what's happening over here. So I think I might go with settlement. And I'm going to take away, take away that... that um, Horn, probably use that for the settlement step of the horn. Might be. Let's do it. We're gonna settle. So I'm gonna use this die, the horn die, and I'm gonna put it. Remember, you have to use it on the space that's there. So if you see, there's the horn there. I will put that horn there, and I get to do this. Two of these, two of them. You see that slash through the equal. They can't be done. The same thing can't be done twice. So I can place a um. Scrap and food to place a settlement, and I can also do this to place another settlement. Or um, if I, wherever I have a city, in any of the zones, I could gain. So we we have those options. So I'm gonna do. Bottom piece. There's a bottom piece here that I don't know about. <laughs> so let's flip over and see what else this expansion, right? Expansion. Yes. Ex Buy it. All right. Uh, settle. Uh, so pick any two different options from the following list in any order. Pay one scrap and one food to place one settlement from your personal supply on a settlement space in any zone and receive the settlement bonus. Or spend one island resource and one story to place one settlement from your personal supply on a settlement space in any zone and receive the settlement bonus. If you pick the first option as well, you must follow the restrictions below C image. Receive the following, uh, or three, it's, and then it says three. Receive followers equal to the number of settlements you have in any single city zone. That's what that is. Uh, so you cannot build settlements in the discovery zone, but there's another way to increase population there. If you build multiple settle settlements, by doing both options or using other abilities, you must build them in different zones. And you are limited to 12 settlements if they are all on the main board already. May not place more. Cool. Okay. So let us do that. We're going to pay a food and a scrap. To place. I'm one handed today. <laughs> to place one settlement. So let's do that first. And we're going to place this settlement. Oh. I want another perk, but I don't know if I want it from the steward. <laughs> I think I want it from... I think I want the perk from from the chief. I think that's what I want. Because the chief of security has some cool stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place it here. And when you cover this location, you see that blue circle? That means you're going to get a perk. All right, zooming's done. All right, so we come over here and we get to place a perk. So we're going to grab one of these guys and we're going to come over to the chief of security. And we get options on where we're going to place this for the chief of security. So let's go back over there. Security's got some good stuff when we're fighting dinos. So that's why I'm going. Are there different cards from the last game? I missed that. If Yes. Yes, Matthew. There are different cards from the last game. Yep. 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 So tier one, uh, he has Skinner. For each trampler you kill, gain one island resource. And tier one trampler expert. Once per combat, deal one damage to a trampler, defeating it without needing a soldier to do it. That's what I want. So I will be putting that on that. It doesn't do it, it doesn't cost me anything. So that's that one. And then uh, so that was my one. 
right for settle i'm gonna do the next one which pays did i not i i had a oh story there it is so i'll pay an island resource and a story to place another settlement and i gained the resources for this in the last game didn't gain the resource on the second pull on this one you and I think um, I will another perk. I, I might want another perk, and I might want one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put. Let's solidify our military here. So I'm going to put it here and gain another perk from the chief steward. The chief steward. Um, I could go to... What do I have to pay? I don't have a story to do it. I can't do it on chief steward because I can't pay for the perk. So I probably would say um, let's get... Ooh, let's get the chief mate. Why not? Chief mate might be fun. The chief engineer might, but I, I'd have to build a camp for the chief. What about the captain? The captain lets me move the leader. Uh, let's do the chief mate. I'll place one here for the chief. And the chief mate. So, uh, defender. Each, uh, each spent valor increases defense value by two instead of one during a dino attack. When you complete an adventure, gain any one perk adhering to the usual additional cost, and that costs one story, one valor. No, no, no. We want the defense. Uh, defense value by two instead of one. For so we're going to get the. So I will. And this is the mate for defense. So we did that. So that was my two. And that ends my primary, uh, my primary action. So now I need to the owner. So there's no there's no nothing crazy going on. So then we do. Uh, so it says resolve in this order. Place a die. Uh, resolve the effect. If a camp or outpost was activated, which it wasn't, um, then we would deal with a dino attack, which we're not. So then secondary action. We can uh, influence officers by paying once one, two, or three stories to influence them accordingly. Um, we can place our leader. Place the leader in a zone and resolve any effect there. I think I might move leader, play, pay two glow berries, relocate leader, and resolve any effect. Um, there is explore, gain an adventure card, and choose one of the following options: two glow berries, one story, and one valor. We could gain a, an adventure card from over here before they get rid of anything, but I think I'm okay. And counterattack, which means to attack a location. Um, there's no location to really counterattack right now. Uh, so I'm actually going to place. I somewhere and I'll read in the rule book what what happens when you place your lead because it says um place in a zone and resolve an effect an effect there so I guess one of the any effect lock Karen out of the complex for two actions <laughs> um I think I'm gonna put my leader in the military area Let's talk about facing our leader. Secondary action. Primary action. Blah, 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 blah. That's exactly it. Blah, blah, blah is blah, blah. All right, so place your leader on a leader on a leader space of a zone. You may only do this if your leader is on your playboard and if there are no leaders in that space. After placing your leader, resolve any one effect in that zone just as if you place the die there. If you place your leader in the discovery zone, resolve any one outpost effect. All right, so we placed in military. And in military, we get one of the three, which is how this works. So the first thing I'm going to do is gain a light soldier on the board. Uh, hopefully y'all can see that. If you can, I could probably move that. Uh, that's my first one, and they can't be the same. 
second one, I will gain a story. And then the third one, I will spend that story to turn those light soldiers into Spithoa. All right, so that's my primary and secondary action. If I'm on an adventure, we would do the adventure stages then, but I'm not. And then the end of turn checks, reset topple soldiers, nothing to do there. Ongoing breaches, there's no breach happening right now because nothing activated here. And if die pool's then empty, we do an assembly. So that's my turn. Now we're going to go to their nonsense turn, and it's just like last time. Flip over a card, and you place where these go. So uh, it looks like Chad is getting the middle card, and uh, Karen is getting the... All right. They, this... Good lord. <laughs> I'm saying good lord because this is where the game gets really comp this is where the game gets really complicated for me um so we're gonna do our best we're gonna do our best to do it. and i know you i know um i hope can y'all hopefully y'all can see this okay like i said i don't want to zoom and you miss out stuff on the board as you're so i will try my best so ooh, dad the first thing he's going to do is what we did last turn right he's going to try to place a die um based on priority here on the construction build area um so he's going to try to do a construction build which is here and he's going to place a die the first thing he wants is a hammer there is a neutral hammer over here so he'll take the neutral hammer and he'll place it so ta -da. that's what he's going to do then he's going to try to resolve this nonsense down here at the bottom so i need to go to the book and just figure this crap out because this is crazy happens to be one of these pulled so it's construction build uh this is card number seven or eight so it's eight so we got to do this because this is a lot just for the first action <laughs> first action throw karen out of the building three action lock the door second action reveal every 911 call call and manage complaint to the rest of the crew <laughs> turn off the 911 beacon we win all right so there look this is all this stuff that we have to do see this this is the reason why i said this game broke my brain all right, so here we go. If there are no cleared areas with an empty outpost or camp space on the map, the, the active dissenter removes a map hex that's adjacent to any camp. If multiple such map hex tiles exist, they choose the one on the most desired location. But there is an open location over here. This one is taken up, so there is option. Okay. Uh, let's see. Shut up, Ted. Um, they... okay, they then otherwise perform the first two possible options from the following list. Here we go. If the active dissenter has no camps in play, this is Chad, he does not, and there is at least one cleared area with an empty camp space, they place one of their camps. Chad's will place the camp. Sorry. They'll place it on the camp. Okay. Cool. One. Done. He gets two. So that's the first one. If there is at least one cleared area with an empty outpost space and the active dissenter has at least one settlement remaining, randomly select one outpost on offer to place there and place one of the active the center settlements on it. But this is where it breaks my brain. If there is a, so it says, if there is at least one cleared area, there is not. With an empty watchtower space, oh, one cleared area, there is a cleared area with an empty watchtower space, there is. Okay. No watchtowers have been placed on either of those, so there is. Um, okay, so this can happen. And the active dissenter has at least one settlement remaining. They do. Randomly select one outpost on offer. What was I reading? To put, uh, on offer to place there and place one of the active dissenter, se dissenter settlements on it. There is at least one cleared area with an outpost. 
this is going to be yours. This is what you're going to pick. This is what you're going to pick. So uh, we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, and down the line. Roll the six. So you're going to grab this bottom one, which is staging that one. So they will put that one here, and then they will grab one of their camps. So then it says, and grab one of their settlements, and they will put their settlement on it. Cool. That was the two that it could do. So that was, if there are multiple, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that was that was his primary action. So he placed an outpost camp there. Uh, his secondary action is he's going to try to influence um, the person in the construction zone. Well, sorry, he's going to try to influence the negotiator agenda zone person because it has the arrow that goes side to side crazy uh, based on what he rolls, which is going to be uh, it's going to be for for Karen. So which is a uh, sustenance hub. So he's going to roll uh, this die and see by how much. Gonna, uh, he's going to influence the one. He's going to just add one influence. That's, that's his turn. It's a lot. It is a lot. But I, I believe I got it right. I believe I got it. So hopefully y'all can understand this going through. Um, if you see me making any mistakes and you've played this game, understand it, let me know. Okay, then, then we check the end of turn effects. Uh, let's check for, so he doesn't go, they don't go on any adventures because that was the primary and secondary. And then it is a reset topple soldier leaders. So then we deal with the breach. So is, how do we detect a Oh, okay. A dino attack may be triggered at the end of your turn or after the resolution of e either the center action using the addition. It is, okay, so the rule book, and let's find dino breaches. Breaches! Whenever you fail to defend yourself against a dino attack, the dinos breach and overrun your camp or outpost. Okay, so how do we ongoing breach? How do we check for that? That's during a breach. What causes a breach? A dino attack is triggered after resolving an adventure effect or an outpost effect. In other words, whenever the rally marker must be placed on a cleared area, either because of the use of a camp or an outpost, um, once the effect has been fully resolved by the active player, the owner of the camp outpost checks the type of terrain planes rally. Uh, Mark's uh, rally marker is currently on and reveals the top card of the respective dino. So I'm still this is this is news to me, right? I'm still figuring this out. Remember first game. So let's see. So what? How do we talk about a dino attack? And Oh, ongoing breach, lose one follow per dino, then if there are two or more dinos in it, return one dino to supply. So it says a dino attack is triggered after resolving an adventure effect or an outpost effect. You placed an outpost, but you didn't do an outpost effect. That should not cause a dino breach. Placing an outpost does not. It says you're using the outpost effect, which placing a die here, now this outpost can place a die, and when you place the die, then it happened. Okay. All right. Got that. Players interact with wild dinos through combat. Yep, dinos defeat combat, capture dinos. What triggers? So once the effect has been fully resolved by the active player, the owner of the camp checks the type of terrain, draws a dino attack card, and then runs down the list. It causes a breach. Okay, so no breach. No breach yet. We're still good. That ends. That ends Chad's turn. So we're going to um, we're going to Karen's turn. So her, she's going to try to place on discovery, uh, which means she's trying to place. Oh boy. So 
There's no clear thing. So let's see how this <laughs> I told you, this is confusing. This is what ramps up the difficulty set. Um, episode 2. So... Several actions will instruct you to find the most nope, opposite zones and agendas, collecting dinos. She's going to use the backpack die, but I want to see how she's going to. Not doing her prime. She's placing a die in discovery. So let's go to discovery on. Discovery. If it does happen. Cards uh, three and four. If no outpost has been built yet. Active the center builds a random outpost from the offer on the empty uh from the offer on the empty outpost space uh in the least desired location, ignoring the reward. Place the chosen die on the newly built outpost and skip the remainder of this does not trigger a dino attack nor pro uh provides any further benefits. So it says if no outposts have been built yet, there has been one outpost built. So what happens now, Karen? How are you going to screw me? Otherwise, use the following priority order to determine which outpost with an empty die space the active selects to place the die and rally marker on. This is going to trigger a dino attack. Okay, cool. One of their own, if multiple such outposts exist, they select the one in the most desired location. One of the other dissenters, if multiple selects, they select. So they're going to take one of these backpack die because that's their primary. They're going to put it here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, one of your, regardless of which outpost was selected, the, the active the center ignores its bonus and gains one reserve. In then resolve a dino attack as described on page 27 to 28. I hate if at least one outpost has been built but none are available, proceed to finding a different effect instead as described in uh, step 1b of the descent primary so we're so we're resolving a dino attack already on page 27 and eight here we go you may use the dissenters camps and outposts as well as yours and the dissenters may also use either their own or yours when a rally marker because that's what we're doing replacing the rally marker uh, when a rally marker is placed on a camp or outpost Flip the top card of the dino attack deck corresponding to the camp or outpost terrain type. We are... We're in planes. Yeah, I believe those are planes. So we will flip this. I'll put the screen so it's probably going to wash out the entire... All right, I will probably... Uh, yeah, that's too distracting. Because, you know, every game must have green and pure content creator. Uh, get management on your side to prevent Karen from using her ultimate power. <laughs> hey, Steve, what's going on? All right, so um, we draw one. Uh, a camp A1 and an outpost A2 on the hex each add one to the defense value regardless of what. So when a rally marker is placed, draw a dino attack corresponding to the camp or the outpost, um, just as in the multiplayer game. Then determine the defense value as follows. A camp, A1, here, <laughs> here, so a camp, um, a camp A1, and an outpost A2 on here, uh, it says, add, each add one to the defense value, regardless of ownership. A watchtower on a hex adds two defense value. You may spend Valor to increase the defense value to the same way as explained in the multiplayer rules, and you may do so even if the camp or outpost belongs to a dissenter. This means that you may choose to help a dissenter avoid a breach. If the used camp outpost belongs to a dissenter, the area automatically gains 2, 1, or 0 more defense as indicated on the Ambition. This is the Ambition card right here. And if you see right here, it says the center defense. You see two, so they gain two already. Just on the on the squatter, 
where it says um, additional defense. That's it. That's two. So I will gain an additional two. So it's one, two, plus two, four. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Then what? <laughs> then what? If the total defense value is equal to or greater than the card's defense threshold on 1A, all the way here at the top, then the card's defense threshold uh, 1A, the defense is successful. If you are the owner of the attack camp outpost, gain the success reward on the card as normal if the camp outpost is owned by the center. The corresponding the center gains two reserve, and then you discard the card. So because we defended against the two, none of this horrible stuff happened. We're just gonna gain uh we're just gonna gain two so that was Karen. One, two, that's three right now. Alright. If the defense value is lower, the attack results in a breach. If you are the owner, uh receive the fail reward on the card as normal. Dot to dot to dot. Remove the rally marker from the cleared area as normal. Cool. Breaches are resolved in the same way, and we are good. We defended against it, so no big deal. This gets this. Cool. Cool, cool. I hate you. Okay. Then she's going to do her other action. We're going to try to influence the captain by rolling this die. And, of course, she's going to roll a four because that's just how Karen wants with the captain. Cool. <sighs> All right. That ends their turn. So that is their non. Over, we will guard these. Drop the next. Start over. And that's a round of the game. As you can see, it's. Um, she didn't kill any dinos, she just defended. If we go out to kill dinos, we can capture them. right on that. Each ascenter can have a specific ongoing breach. Nope, that's it. It says you just discard it. Gain two, then discard. The defense value is lower. The attack results in a breach. If you're the owner, fail reward. Um, if the camper outpost is owned by the center, the correspondent descender of anyway and remove the rally marker. Oh, so the rally marker will still be here. And only it's only removed if you have a breach. Okay. We don't have a rampage happening because it says if you are a dissenter, ever have to discard the dino attack card of an ongoing breach because of uh, a new breach, a rampage place, which we haven't gotten to yet. Uh, you can counterattack a dissenter on a dissenter's ongoing dino attack the way you would a multiplayer game. So we're not there yet either. I believe that's it. That's it. Okay. Cool. On the main book. The only reason why is because I'm wondering if for each successful defense against a dino attack, the only attack game uh, structures. Yep, we got that. If the total defense value of the player is equal to parts of the defense total, we are successful. The owner of the attack cards game best roll. Or we get a breach. Ignore the bottom part of the card for now. Save your bonus will be scored by the player performing Successful counterattack. Remove the rally marker for from the cleared area. That's what we're supposed to do. Cool. If I kill any dinos. This is whenever you fail, and I we're not doing combat with dinos, so we don't have to deal with that. Cool. Just making sure we're good. Like I said, there's a lot to this game. There's a lot. Okay. So we know that they are going for construction sustenance. Wait, or What do I want to do? Um, I want to get some. I didn't gain any valor. Up on the. Um. If I get a food and a story, I want to come over and do politics because I want to change the dice out and start influencing the dice pool. 
Um, but probably, oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't have any food. Uh, two. The marketplace says I could do. A lot of stuff you can do in this. It is insane. All right, so let's look at the market uh, in expansion. So the uh, that is two books to go to. Yay! Uh, let's. Uh, you may pick one or both of the following options. Spend one glowberry to gain any two resources of the following types in combination food scrap, island resources, or exchange any amount of the following types of resources in any combination food scrap or island resources. I need resources, so for me to influence die, I do need food. Um so methinks that is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna grab the book resource. Put it here, and I will gain. I'm, I could do both, but I'm, I'm just going to do one, and I'll gain two food. Food. Using that, uh, I can't do it again, which would be great. But it says that I can exchange uh, one for another for another. But I don't want to do that because I want to do politics, which my dice out. I mean, I could do this and then, then I could play location. Yeah, that might be fun. I'll go for. No, no. Let me do this. I'm then I will do the second one. Just trade this. Crap. I'll gain some scrap. I'm going to... That's my primary. My secondary, I don't have any story <laughs> whatsoever. Um, I could counterattack, defeat all dinos on a breach, gain the survive, uh, the savior bonus. That's counterattack. Maybe I should... I could place a settlement, but to do that, I need to adventure. If I adventure, I can go out and take care of some dinos. I think instead of doing this, go go on the prowl. Um, I think I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna go on an adventure. So let's take a look at adventure. And it says, an, an evolution of patrol in episode one. Adventure allows you to start venturing out into the wilderness surrounding the city. Fight dinos in your way and begin claiming new lands for the construction of camps and outposts. Choose a camp to be your rally point and place the rally marker. You may select a camp belonging to another player. Camps with breach tokens under them are overrun and cannot be selected. There are no camps without a breach token on the board. You may not choose adventure. Valid target. Okay, so I can, I can rally from. Here. Okay, so let's let's do that. I'm gonna grab a backpack, and I'm gonna go on an adventure. Um, I have a planes card that I can go on an adventure, and I have two people that I could do that with. So here we go. All right, so we're putting the rally token right here, and uh, we're gonna resolve whatever's gonna. Happen. So let's see. So it says um. Choose a camp to be your rally point and place the rally marker next to it. Uh, by default, a map hex adjacent to the rally marker is a valid target map hex. You may, however, pay two glowberries to be able to select map hexes up to one cleared area from the rally point. Cool. Pick up to two different of the following three options in any order. <laughs> so many options. One, combat dinos. Choose a valid target map hex, including the printed hexes on the edge of the map. And combat any number of dinos on it using soldiers and or your leader 
on your player board. Remove defeated dinos from the map hat. The leader or soldiers used to attack dinos are unavailable for the rest of the You may not use them for the clear area option or any secondary action. Topple them to help them rem topple them to help remember them. Unlike episode one, defeated soldiers are why e Okay, so I get to pick Pick up to two different of the following. So combat dinos. Choose a valid target map hack. So it can be this one or this one that I can do. Um okay. And combat any number of dinos using soldiers or and or your leader on the player board. So my guy. We're gonna crush this. So then it says Solar rule. Combat dino is it all works the same. Bending's center, so this is gotta go down. Yeah, I think it's the collecting dinos. If at the end of their turn a descender has at least one of each dino type, return an equal number of each type to the supply and you lose followers depending on your look like we're Yep, okay. So. Put your rally, place the rally point mark. Uh, then we choose where we're going to do. Fighting over there. Remove defeated dinos from the hex. So I've got one that hits for two. I could actually play a gold glowberry and put that guy there, but I don't want I'm going to put him. Wipe this out and it says, um, remove defeated dinos from the map hex. The leader or soldier used to attack the dinos are unavailable for the rest. You may not use them for the clear area option or any secondary action. Topple them, let them know that they are. All right, see page 23 for details on how to combat dinos. Lots of rules. As mentioned earlier, combat can happen in two different ways, as a result of an adventure effect or as a result of a attack. The process is the same in both cases. Commit available soldiers and or your leader on your combat board to deal damage in combat. Committed leader soldiers are toppled and no longer available to use for other actions. Light soldiers deal one point of damage, while heavy soldiers or leader deal two. Assign damage dealt to dinos. Dinos you are combating. A trampler is defeated one damage, a raptor is defeated with one damage, shield head is defeated with one damage. Do two damage to him. Okay. So, um... Oh, you'll kill my guy. That's okay. Alright, so when we defeat the dino... He goes into our can't. We capture him. All right. Goes do two damage and put him in the cage. Each raptor and shield head uh, defeated causes one injury. Injury has to be allocated to a soldier or leader assigned. Boop. Dead. Immediately return. Suffer or cancel injuries. A light soldier may assign one injury. If assigned, you may spend one vowel to cancel the injury. Do not, the light soldiers defeat, turn them to the supply. A heavy soldier may be assigned up to two injuries. If at least one injury is assigned to them, they are defeated and return. Your leader may absorb up to two injuries and they're never defeated. Choose a reward. For each dino defeated, kill the dino, return to the supply, and gain one follower, or capture the dino and place it in your enclosure, minding the limitations below. I'm capturing it and placing it. Dinos in your enclosure can be released. Gather, training, build effects, or keep for final scoring. There are some limitations to adding dinos to your enclosure. 
can have only one type of dino in your enclosure, you may return dinos to the supply if you want to add a dino of a different type. You can only capture one dino per combat, the rest must be killed, and you have a maximum of four dinos in your Okay, so that's how you combat them. And it says, uh, for reward, so we're going to capture the dino. So we've just done that, and our guy died, but we still won. Cool. That was that was the first one that we did uh, here on Inventor. We get to do two. The first one was we combated and defeated. Next one is clear an area. Choose a valid target map hex tile with no dino on it. If it is a planes or tile, remove it from the game. From now on, this part of the map is a cleared area. If it is the temple tile, leave it on the map. One, one adventure card from your hand in front of... Play one adventure card from your hand in front of you, matching the chosen tiles type, and assign soldiers from your uh, player board. Oh, sh... I can't. I can't clear. I can't clear. Can I build a... What else can I... So place the rally, fight some dinos, Get rid of that, and then I have to go on an adventure. I need two soldiers to do it, and I just killed one. Uh, what else can I do? I can build a camp on a cleared area. I can't clear the area. <laughs> so I can't build a camp. Okay, what else can I do? I think that's it. So it's, it's uh, place your rally, fight dinos, clear the area, or um, uh, build a camp. I can't build a camp because that's taken up. I can't... Well, this is a cleared area. Yeah, but I can't, I, I can't clear that area, so it just has no dinos. Shoot. I need one more soldier to make this work. I might have to undo all that I just did. Because I can't... So... Yeah, we just learned something something very special, folks. Okay, so let's let's do with what we were doing before. And we get our guy back. I need three of them to do this next. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take this. This. I'll put it here. I'll gain a light soldier. I will gain a Valor. Kill you for free. Problem. Um, I'll tell you what, instead of gaining the valor, I gain the story for you. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have no idea. Uh, I haven't even hit the first assembly yet. All right, so that'll be. That will be my that will be my first action. I had to undo everything I just did, but now I understand what to do. So the next um my secondary action is going to be Okay, two glow bears relocate the leader and resolve an effect there. If a camper outpost was activated, the owner resolves a dino attack. So I'm gonna pay these two glow bears because I'm running out of options. Move my leader. I will move you. I'll move you. Uh, move you. I don't have the food. 
Uh, I'll move you here and do the marketplace thing, and I'll gain two. And I'm good. I'm going to try politics next round if I can. Okay, that was roundabout, but you know what I'm going to do next round anyway. So let's do it. Uh, flip over to see what you're going to do. Um, Karen's going to get this. Chad is going to get this. Okay. Let's see what. So, Chad is training military, uh, military training, let's do, um, the active dissenter gains one or two reserve as indicated on the ambition card. On the ambition card, it only says you gain one, so you will get that, then you will try to sustenance, which is the, calling this, six. Oh, sweet. So, unlike the first one, he's, uh, he, Chad's not going to place any more, um, influence here once he has two. Two is kind of his goal. He's going to start moving. Okay, that's the end of him. Uh, for me, we don't resolve a dino thing because the rally never happened. So, without the rally there, the dino attack won't happen. So, okay. So then it is, uh, so then we check breach, no breaches, no assembly. Same for him. He's good to go. Um, then we go to Camilla, who is construction. Oh, God, you're doing this again. Oh, come on. Okay. Card seven. Of course you are. If there are no cleared areas with an empty outpost or camp space on it, if there are no cleared areas with an empty outpost or camp space on it, the active dissenter removes a map hex tile that's adjacent to any camp. If multiple such maps if multiple such map hex tiles exist, they choose the one on the most desired location. Return all removed dinos from the map hex to the supply. The dissenter does not collect them. Then they gain one reserve and skip the remainder of this effect. They'll uh, the most closest to their camp. I'll probably say this one over here so that. This gets through. And then they skip the route. That's what they gain one. Okay. Then you're going to try to place self. Ugh. Awful. What this is. All right, so you're going to try to place yourself in military. And uh, card seven, the active dissenter resolves the effect described on page 22 under expansion zone settle. When playing on a squatter ambition, note that the active dissenter doesn't place the second settlement in brackets. So page 22. Uh, settle. One in the zone where they have the most settlements of their own. Zone where you have the most settlements of your own. Settlements, not camps. You don't have any. So you will look to construction. Cool. Oh, that is that is there. It's almost at five, which is so that will end. Oh, did she? Did I place a. Oh no, I couldn't. I couldn't place a die. There's nothing. Okay, we put these out, and it's my turn. Okay, we're ready to do this now. So we're going to um, I'm going for the dino attack. I removed the one that was on adventure. Now we're going on an adventure. Now we're going to do. Now we're going to do. 
this as the first, uh, capturing this dino, killing this guy, and then we grab the adventure of the planes because we're doing a clear, and this is what we're going to do for that. So we have an adventure, a planes adventure, planes adventure, and it requires two, so we're going to put two on there. So, uh, clear area. Choose the valid target map hex tile with no dinos on it. If it is a plains or canyons, remove it from the game. For now, on this part of the map is a cleared area. It, it's example to it. Play one adventure card from your hand in front of you, matching the chosen tile terrain and assigning soldiers from the player board to the card you have assigned. At least the required number of soldiers. Print it on there. Yes, yes. Uh, your leader can be assigned to adventure. Clarify, you can only pick this option if there are no dinosaurs. You have at least one adventure card in your hand matching the terrain. You have enough soldiers to do it. You do not already have an ongoing adventure in front of you. So on the adventure stage of this, that will be that. So that was my first action. That was my first action. My, my primary action, my secondary action is going to be... Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, I don't have the glowberries. I can explore. Gain an adventure card and choose one of the following options. Two glowberries, one story, or one valley. I'm going to gain an adventure card. Let me grab... Grab... Build head down. I'm going to gain that adventure card. Start it because I'm already on an adventure, but I can get it. And then um, I can gain two glowberries, one story, or one valor. Um, let me gain two glowberries. That's my secondary. Then we resolve an adventure. So we grab, I have these two. I have two people on the adventure. Your audi my audio went out? Or did I just stop talking? <laughs> Your audio went out, I think. Nope. Nope, nope, what? Nope, nope, I stopped talking or nope, my audio went out? <laughs> nope, I muted you by <laughs> Why are y'all messing with me today? I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> your audio went out it's clipping what's happening what's going on <laughs> oh i just i just muted you all right so let's run on this adventure um so we're gonna draw two and get these two get the two things that are on there and then we gotta roll to see so first we're gonna i'm gonna get uh two story and i'm gonna get a valor and i'm gonna get a island Then I have to roll my dice to see who dies. So on a four, on a on a less than a four, so a four or higher, I will live. Otherwise, I die. Everyone is pretending to ignore me. I know, right? I got a six, so, so one person lives. Then on the next one, on a five or or higher, I live. I got a six, double sixes. Wait. So I've completed this adventure. That gives me two. Uh, two followers because they love me so i'm at 20 and these come back home this flips down got them all right cool so we've completed that adventure then we check and we do have this so now we got to deal with the um a breach card from the planes we flip this over we need a three so if you look here first thing we need to check the three or terrible things start happening Wait, hell um, there is one, two, and then two from this puts us at four, so we did beat this. We're good. So we get to put that down. Oh, and, uh, because I caused it, I get the rewards. 
Mwahaha. Mwahaha. All right, let's talk about what those rewards have the big book. The big book. Yep. Once the effect has been fully resolved by the active player, the owner of the camp outpost checks the type of terrain currently on the reveal the top card of respective dino attack deck. Resolve it as follows. For a successful defense against the dino attack, the owner of the attacked camp outpost needs to meet the defense threshold. Structures on the re Take care of it. Take care of that. Take care of that. Um, structures on the respective clear area help defense each camp outpost regardless. Add one while the watch at, with watchtowers adding two. Total defense value of the player is equal to or greater than the defense threshold. Uh, the defense is successful and the owner of the attack camp Damn it, that's not me. I'm not the owner of the game. All right, well, I don't get anything. You suck. Okay, so that was the end of my turn. We still have dice, so there's an assembly still hasn't happened yet. I'm moving so Okay, so then we go to them. Flip. Uh, Karen's getting the middle one, and, and Chad is getting <laughs> Chad. Uh, okay. So we deal with this uh, expansion. You're doing settle here, and book is first. Book is life. Then, uh, because of the rules, you'll only once one with you most. Then smelling food. <laughs> I must be hungry. Then we're gonna roll the die to see that you're gonna try to influence uh, sustenance, but you won't. You'll be going for the head. Uh, that's a three, so you're going to drop one. That and you're going to bust it in the hub, and so you're going to drop the backpack die in the hub by one five and we'll talk about what happens there special just happens Ooh, get rid of this I'm sorry. Just get shuffle back so we'll talk about that in a second uh, and then try to expansion captain you already you already have two security You just want to get just enough to be an annoyance to you. Alright, so you've got five. Let's talk. Will it to me? That one B. If no die can gather, there are no dissenter action cards instructed in this fact you would If no die can be legally placed in the zone listed on the active action card, proceed to the top leftmost effect of the Oh, yeah, this game breaks my. I'm too.
setting it up. I, I've hit, I've hit the back. I've hit the section. I just got an email. Uh, the <laughs> Uh, yeah, it should be about their results. Sorry, I remember this from watching Paul's playthrough. I just, it's gone out of my head. They do this effect, but do they lose the reserve? They do the effect that's on their agenda card, but do they lose the reserve? That's kind of my question. Like, do they reset their reserve when? Expansion, salvage, covering. Agenda cards. Here we go. Nope, that's not it at all. I think it just. Happens, but I don't know if they set the result of it. The active dissenter influences an officer. Select an officer, ignoring the other. They select the officer where they have more influence compared to other officers. If multiple or no such officers exist, they select the officer where the difference between active center and yourself is the smallest. So the center places two on the selected officer regardless of choice. The placement might trigger an officer bonus. Or ignore any bonuses they would receive on any card. They gain one reserve instead. Gain the officer bonus as you. Okay. So happens to stats. Back to zero. Looks on there and says, oh look. Have in here. Drops it here. Up. We'll gain a reserve for that. And that's it. I played that rule. Rule book didn't tell me. Alright. So she everything she's supposed to do. All right, we're getting close to the first assembly. Oh. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. So, I did the adventure. Got some pretty good resources to start influencing and die, but I'll lose a follower if I use that, that book symbol. I can use a story to flip a die to a side I want, which I will do. Yeah, because I got another story. I'm going to use a story this die and flip it fuck some so I can do some politics I get to pick one of these I'm going to spend two food to get one of my dice not in there I will look for the messing with that just makes Good old chuckle. All right. And then for every die that I have placed, I will gain a follower. Well, I have one, so I'm going to go. And I believe it's. Six. Uh, let's see. If there is at least one neutral die in the pool, spend place a neutral die in the pool. One of your player dies from your personal supply. Set the same face of the die. Replace. Gain one follower. 
per player die you have play on the board or in the pool, so I gain another follower. Um, spend one food and one star to replace a neutral die on the main. I couldn't do two. Sorry, sorry, we're pulling it back. I had to do the other one with one food for to be able to do that. And I gain another, I, I was supposed to gain two. At 24. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Okay. Okay. So that was my primary action. My secondary action is to do something. Um, I could gain another adventure if I want. But this is, they all need three people or six people for that. Okay. Um. It says that gain an adventure card and choose one of the following. Two glue berries, one story, and one. Gain another adventure. I want to move up in the air. Get up all in. Jazz. I'm gonna grab that as my adventure. Then um I'm gonna either gain two uh not the glow one story or one valor. I'm gonna gain one valor. That will end. Uh let's check. I'm not on an adventure. I didn't rally anything for, for a fight. And we still have so no assembly. Okay. I'm not I feel like I'm doing this wrong, but I'm not sure why. <laughs> like I feel like there should be more dinos coming, but I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's after an attack a push. I, I don't know. Capturing dinos, defeating dinos. How about the growing threat of dinos? I think it's when they breach. Oh, when they breach, it adds more. If I don't have enough defense, that's when that... Okay, okay. Alright, so... Um... Y'all's turn. That's getting... That one. Alright, the star means their agenda. Uh, Chad is gonna go... What's in his agenda, which is training. Um... So, here's an interesting thing that's different from episode one. So, Chad, the backpack, placed military training academy. He looks for a backpack. In episode one, if there wasn't one, he'd move down the line. This, what he's going to do is he's actually going to spend a reserve to take his die and flip it to a backpack. Then he's going to place that in military. That's how that works. Then he's going to um, gain one reserve. Counter it. Let's see. Woo! Eleven, twelve. Okay, treat this card as if it had the same action as active. Dis cool. That's that's fine, but I care about the bottom piece. Card twelve. The active descent gains one reserve. Counterattack. Card twelve. 
Use the following priority order to determine which ongoing dino attack the active display reflects. A, their own. B, the other the centers. Um, three, yours. If the active descent is your ongoing dino attack, you lose three to five. So choose the following priority order to determine which ongoing dino attack active descent reflects their own dino attack. So the center gains every dino from the selected dino attack. The center gains every dino from the selected dino attack below the center board on the active center side. Discard the dino attack card. We don't have any. And remove the breach marker. We don't have any. If there's no ongoing dino attacks, the secondary action is... Okay, because I was like, we don't have any going. Done. You. You are going to place... And... On the horn, place it. Club, and you're gonna. Adventure. Uh, this has the same effect as described under Sustenance Zone Adventure, page twenty. And If there are no camps on the map but have a map head. If there are no camps on the map but have a map hex, tile adjacent to <laughs> I have to read this like three times. So if uh let's say if there's at least one camp with a map hex tile adjacent to Sure, there's two. No, 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 that's not what we have. If there are no camps on the map hex tile that have a map hex tile adjacent to it, the active dissenter builds a camp on a cleared area with an empty camp space in the most desired location. Desired location. This is seven. Six. Gain one There's at least one camp with a tile adjacent to all the following order, which there is one, sorry. Ignore camps under them. The following priority. Uh, use the following priority to determine the camp if they select. They're going there. Okay. Then what? Of the map hex tiles adjacent to each selected camp, selects the hex tile, the most dinos on it. There are no tile adjacent. Oh, I did what I was supposed to do. I did what I was freaking supposed to do. Okay, then. There, bottom, both of them. And you're done. All right. I get to go first. How do I place? Place a camp. I can use a dino to place a watchtower and or I could spend draw a tile in place. Be able to spend one of the things. Don't have app. 
But we gotta set ourselves up for now. We're gonna do this. Gain two uh scrap. Ground will deal with what's there, so that's my primary action. My secondary action is going to be area. I've got it. And I'm going to hit on this. So I'm going to spend these two flows of you over here so I can dominate this area. And um, I will gain a story. Plus a story for other cubes I have, which is uh, one, two. Oh, sorry, in the zone, in the zone. I don't have any in the zone. So, cool, that's it. Okay, um, no breaches happening. Uh, no adventures going on. We're out of dice pool. Uh, dice pool is empty, so we have our first ascent. Okay. So, uh, assemblies. Our first assembly, distribute reward tiles. Uh, presence majority in each zone awards its reward. So I have one, two, you just have one. So I run this. This is one, one on one, so we tie. I run this, and I have one, two, we have two, tie. Okay. So tie awards half the votes instead. So it is two votes plus, um, Plus how many we have? Plus how many are there? So that gives me three for this area because I run this. Um, so that would give me three. Then over here, we tied, so it would be um, two, three, half. So that gives me one. Rounded down, it gives me the four. Over here, I run this. There's no, so I just get two. That gives me three. Over here, I tie for second, so once again, that'll just give me one that takes two. Cool. Choose votes or production. Uh, vote, so, votes. Oh, that's, uh, or production for our rewards. We're good. Cool. So then uh, we compare, basically, we're going to convert those votes to, um, to acceptance. In the first round, it's one for one, so I will gain seven, going to 17. So I gain 17 acceptance. It's one for one. Go back down to zero. Um, and then we score based on, based on the officer cards. I don't have any influence there. Uh, here, I get, I tied for second, so friendly ties. So it's going to be three divided by two. So I gain one friend. Then over here, I don't have anything. Over here, I don't have anything. There, I don't have it. Retrieve the leaders. Reroll dice. Uh, and then we need to reset a bunch of stuff. Wow, that's a lot of horns. That is a lot of horns. Be doing a lot of horn stuff. One backpack and everything. Fresh the outpost offering. Bottom. Set the votes. 
and assembly scoring Oh, that's for if you're playing multiplayer. Okay, then that's the end. Boom, first assembly of, th of three done. Your turn! Uh, so it's going to be uh, what they're doing. Uh, Chad's going to get that one, that one, and we're ready to go. So, uh, have, huh? Politics. Politics. Then he's going to replace a die, not the book, but the other hand. A preemptive on this back. Then he's this and counterattack. That is skipped. Uh, check for anything crazy. Crazy happens, no breaches, no craziness. Then we go to her. Uh, she but backpack and hub. He is gonna switch a die out from the pool, which is one of the horns. Wow. Really good that I My turn. Um, y'all want to play? Y'all want to play dirty pool? Let's see. Okay, we're gonna do a build action. So, so let's let's do. That. So I need a hand. Crap on a cracker. Um, followers. If I use this. But I got, but I, I would love to use on training. I could get more people, but I still need a hammer. I could spend the story to switch one of the hammer. I can do that. I don't need a story for what I need, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend the story, switch one of these to there so I don't lose followers. Then we get to do... Talk about what we get to do in construction. Okay, here we go. Uh, pick up the two different options from the following. Spend one scrap and one island resource to select one of the three outpost tiles on offer. Place it on a cleared space. So one scrap and one island resource. And we'll this one basically su suspend the glowberry to influence. We'll put like one of the three outpost tiles on offer and place it on a cleared area that doesn't yet have an outpost tile. Place one of your settlements on the tile to denote ownership. One of my settlements. Okay. Gain the reward indicated on the covered spot. Gain the reward indicated on the covered spot. This may be one valor or followers as indicated. Oh, that's underneath. Uh, one thumbs up, dude. I gave one follower. Okay. Follower. Six. All right. Um, refill the outpost offer with a new outpost immediately. Settlements you mark ownership and outposts are not considered settlements. They're part of the outpost. Well, you're limited to 12 settlements. Uh, I get to pick two, so that was the first one I did. 
Uh, release a trampler from your enclosure to place a watchtower marker from your player board on the uh, on a cleared space that doesn't yet have one. Then you may venture card either planes or canyons from the offer in hand. Trampler, but I believe that means any dino. Yeah, release any dino. Perfect. I don't get. Or spend one scrap and one glowberry. They say camp on a clear space. Camp. That could trick. Fun. So that is all I got. So I need a berry to be. That does not cause a rally point. It needs to place the rally so we don't get crap kicked out of us for a rampage. But. Yeah. Settlements, mark ownership are not considered settlements. Yeah, we don't do the play points. No pain, no pain. However, however, my uh that's my primary action. I don't I can only do one of those. I can't do another because I don't have the funds to do. However, I am gonna place my leader on discovery. Um Uh, place your leader on us. If you're already on the main, um, you may only do on your player board and no leader in this. After place, involve any one effect in the zone, uh, just as if you place a die there. If you place your leader in the discovery zone, resolve any outpost effect in. Ah, can't. <laughs> it just can't. Um, I think I. I'd have to spend blueberry. I got to do this in, or else this is. In the pick low berry. Let's go ahead and place you here. Gain two. Swap. Scrap and glow berries, not. I'll be good. Yeah, because they're about to take away the dice. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. That ends me. No rally happened. Uh, so let's deal with whatever's happening. Uh, Dad is book. Those. Boston. And crap again. Oh boy. Oh, let's. All right. So if there are no camps on the map that have a map hex tile, 
after it. Oh, you're going to take my camp. If there is at least one camp with a map hex tile adjacent to solve it. Spawn priority order. One of their own. Multiple such. What? Wait, are you going to... Okay. There are no camps on the map that have a map hex tile adjacent to There is. There is. So if there's at least one, here we go. Ignoring camps would bring under them. Use spawn priority order to determine which camp active this. One of their own. If multiple such camps exist, they select one in the desired location. Okay. Two. On the map hex tile adjacent to the selected camp, the selects the hex tile, the most dinos on it, uh, select randomly if such tiles exist, remove all dinos from it. <laughs> The center gains one dino from uh, those removed. Place it below the board on the side. Nope. Uh, remove dino. Uh, remove the hex tile the dino uh, has. So you're basically, you're taking stuff away. Okay. And put a random available canyon vampire to the bottom of their decks and one solve a dino up. Damn it, Karen. Damn it. Uh, you pulled from here, which was. Purple. Okay, the defense is. Show it, show it. <laughs> it won't even focus. Four. All right, so we've got two natural defense plus one, three. This is a four. A breach occurs. Because you're stupid. Thanks a lot. Thanks a ton. Thanks a ton. Love a gravy. If the, the, if the defense value is lower than 2A, the attack results in a breach. You are the owner receive the fail reward on the card as normal. If the camp outpost is over is owned by the center, the corresponding the center gains one curve. Thanks. Thanks. Remove the rally marker from the cleared area as normal. Uh, breaches, breaches are resolved in the same way as described in the multiplayer. Damn it, woman. <laughs> uh, breach. Take. Okay, so a breach occurs whenever you fail to defend yourself against a dino attack. The dino breach and over uh, breach and overrun your camp or outpost, rendering it unusable until reinforcements arrive. Take the uh, take the dino attack card with a failed defense and place it next to your player board. Great job! Great job! You're doing super. Okay. Place the dino shown in the breach section of the dino uh, attack card um, from the general supply. Got a raptor. Got a tree. And if there are any dinos on dangerous dino spaces on adjacent hexes, place as many as they are on the Oh, wait. Yeah. Great job. 
Great job. Place a breach token on the grid area. Great. Place your breach token on the grid area with the rally marker under the If the dino attack was triggered by an adventure outpost tile, if the dino was triggered, at the end of your turn, one follower for each dino. <laughs> ah! You know, you, you want to know what was going on, Steve? You want to know what's going on? Karen's a jerk. That's what's going on. She's a jerk. So now I got to clean up that crap. Ah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Ah. Bad gummit. Okay. Then where do you, where would you like to go, Karen? Where would you like to go? Somebody's there, so you're gonna. Okay. Oh, that's a reach. I, she's the worst. She is the absolute worst. Okay, how do we solve this problem? I think the breach would go here. No, it would have to be on the face that was all. So. At the end of your turn, what fun do you do? Um, ongoing breach. Lose one follower slash dino, uh, per dino. Base. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That breach doesn't happen. That breach doesn't happen. Wait up. That breach does not happen. No, no, no. Because I'm going to spend the valor. To win to to stop you from being dumb to make it full. that breach doesn't happen oh my gosh that was close <laughs> that was close i could spend the valor which i did to make it five to make it four so it matches up because you're dumb okay god that would have Okay, so what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I wanna place a settlement. And I need two glowberries to do it. Got that plan. So I'm gonna do this. That's what I'm gonna do. And then gonna place a settlement of my own right here which gives me a perk. That perk is for the chief engineer it says this one lets me <laughs> just whoa whoa everybody hold on where I start saying what perk I'm gonna take from the mirror. Let's see what's available. Chief Engineer. Uh, you may have a mixture of dino species. Put immediately gain a dino of your choosing. General supply. Perk has no on. That will let me do that. Dino. Yeah, I'll do the mix of dino. I don't want to have one of each. That'll work. All right. So I place that there. That's going to drop this thing here, resolving that effect. Should have enough to deal with it. And I got one more Valor just in case. Pinky. Um, so that was my... That was... That was my adventure to do that. I needed to spend... Oh, crap. No, it can't be my... 
this thing. Has to be this thing. Has to be this thing. Um, I don't have a story to switch. If I can't. Don't get this. I either have to spend two glowberry, uh, a, a um, sorry, not two glowberries, a resource, or this. I do have this, but I need a hammer to be able to do it. I will lose the two followers because I. Need I'm going to do that. Oh. App. Um. I think the only thing I can do is my backpack. I can release a dino to gain two glowberry. But I think what I can do is I can. If I put my backpack there, I get two things to do. I can attack some dinos, cause the rally effect to happen. Then I can spend the two glowberries as my secondary action to protect the, uh, the, the thing. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Extended vacation in Florida. Florida's not a vacation. Spot. L. Stand by it. Uh, okay. I could. Come on. Come on. I gotta do it. I gotta do it because I place. A place to have settlement out trigger um a fight that's the fight right no it's it's adventuring that but I need a card to be able to do that I don't have enough to adventure and I'm struggling with what to do this is bad um and that settle that that settlement to I don't have a story to spin, which means I'd lose followers, but at least I'd get some protection out there, which would get me a four. If I could beat four stop the dinos from rampaging. Make it five max. If there's six, I'm Let's do it. Let's do it. Do that. Followers. And this and this. Put a settlement. Gain this perk. Multiple dinos. Actually... Let's gain a free dino. I got a plan for my free dino. Then I will use that dino back in. Gain an outpost. Got a big, got a boom. Got some serious protection going. Okay, we're good. That is two, three, four, five, six. So we have enough to cover that entire area. Cool. Okay. Then. That's that's that. That's my primary. Secondary is to gain venture card. I think. Oh no, I have two. Um, I will. Is three the max adventure cards? Let's
for how much adventure cards we can have. Three. I'm going to say three because I can't find it right now. Um, actually, I'll be right back. I'll be right, right back. Be back in. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right, so. Uh, I will just get us. Can't do the. And. Uh, wait, I think. Until somebody tells me different. I got an advantage. Then we check there is going to be, I'm not on an adventure, um, but there is going to be an attack that I need to check. It mean a five we have to resolve this five. So I've got two, three, four, five, six. So just innately I beat because of my tower. Good. Oh, but I gained the reward because I did a good thing. I gain a food, a resource, or four people. Give me the four. Give me eight. That's it. All right. Back and all right. That ends me. Then we do this. Okay. So jerk. Cover. Moniker. If no outpost has been built yet, aha. Otherwise, use the following priority to order uh determine which outpost with an empty die space active likes to place a die on. I hate. All right. So one of their own. So you've got one right there, and you. Are going to grab the horn. What does that get you? One reserve. Then you've already placed, so we get that. Two. Going to. By one. By one. There's no. Break. Have the reshuffle, put it aside. Up. Grab two. Okay, so we've got dice in the dice pool. I have a story and I have food. Ooh -ha. Ooh -ha -ha. And I got a buck. I'm gonna do market uh not marketplace, sorry, politics. I'm gonna pay in my story and my food. You switch a die on the board, one of my dice. Come on, my friends. Um I'll switch. 
Um, that's my primary action. Secondary action, um, I will... Um, I don't have a story to... I've already placed my leader. I can't move my leader. I can counterattack. Defeat all dinos on a breach. There's no breach. So... And I think you lost some money. You have to beat a three. Uh, yeah, you have more. Like I said, I, I feel like you have a set number. Let me get an island. I will get the island. Okay. I have no Dustin's pub. Where to go? Pub. You're already there, so you're. Here, but burn very one. craziness okay i think i'm playing this <laughs> i'm probably gonna get so much crap on feedback saying 30 billion terrible day a terrible player and you're right all right so let's see what can i do um i need re let's do this i'm Place this here. That have me uh, spend my glowberry. Influence somebody. Uh, spend the glowberry to influence. Getting ready to get to the. Here. That's my action. Boo 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 boo. My secondary action. So again, story. What is it? I gained uh two glowberries. Oh, I couldn't have gained this island right. Then that's my secondary. We need to resolve this. It's a six. I've got six. That's one, two, four, and then innate five. Six. You've been beaten. You're protected. Which half? That ends. Going into our next. Dad's got the struggles. Dad's trying to put the pub, but he'll pick else. 
then you're going to try to swap out a die. Yours and backpack. That will end your turn. Happen, but the assembly's good. Okay, assembly. Uh, you've got two here. I've got one. So there. Oh, no, you got more than two. You've got one, two, three, four, and I've got one on one tie. So that would have been um, two, three divided by one. But gain one. Here. One, one tie. That's one again. Not looking good. Here, I am king. So I dominate this, but I only get two. Here, I don't get any. <laughs> I am I'm in third place. Up here, I've got one, two, four. I dominate. I gain um, one, two, four. I go to eight. I gain in voting uh, 1.5 per. So that is three, six, nine, twelve. Basically, 13. So I actually gain 13 acceptance on this puts me at 30. Actually, a 30 exception. Zero. Abby. Nothing, 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 nothing. Half of something. <laughs> so, I gained one glowberry. That is all. Actually, no, it's not one glowberry. It would be um one vote. So I have, I need 55 and 90, and I'm at 30 and 29, and we're on the last turn of the game, the last round. This, the game is it. To die just now, so please forgive me. Eat. I Life. All right. So. Up some boats. This. Oh, it's not even my. Military. Bam. Not be getting any more. Actually, that's a lie. Hey, that's bad. Very, very bad. All right, uh, that's gonna her might be getting all of this wrong, but I I don't I believe I've stopped every brief. Okay. 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 Oh, and there's 
Um, I think it's time to go on an adventure. Story. Horn. Backpack. Um. I get to. And before I start, I keep getting my ability of being able to get out. That. Tell anybody to. I could release a dino. Then I could fight. Player and go on an adventure. I do have. I have a three for. But I can do that. But these. An adventure. It's bought one. All right. Didn't have to kill anybody. Okay. So, oh, we. That's my primary, my secondary. Place. Oh, captain, my captain. All right, uh, no breaches happen. Light, so nothing happened there. So we go to our adventure. Wait, can she go? I don't think I can. Up again. Your leader can also be assigned to an adventure from the player board. Okay. So I can do that. And um, so we are resolving two of these, three of these. Actually, it's just two with her. Bad. Of course, and five. One person might die. One of you may die. But that is a sacrifice I'm willing to. Yeah, what do you die? Okay, um, I'm coming back from that from that continue, so this will be considered. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, I think these will go with shuffle back. Right, 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 right. Um, okay, so cleared another. They're gonna take away from me. So let's let's find out how immediate they take this away. Uh, so Chad's gonna do that. Of course, Chad's the one that's gonna do it. Freaking jerk. Okay, so Chad's gonna do discovery. Um, Like, oh, sweet, I got a setup. No, you don't. All right, so. <laughs> Use the following priority order to determine which outpost. Oh, you're just going to place a die. To place a die on you. So there is a hammer available for you here, which is this, which is this by one.
selecting dinos. The active display selects two dinos from the general supply and puts General supply. Crab and pad. When, it is, when the center uh, is given a choice of which dino to gain, they whatever they have the fewest of, so it's going to be a shield head and Okay. Yes, then this is green six. Uh, one, two, four. I can't stop the breed from happening. It's placed in. Okay. Back boat. Thought myself dealing with that none. Your turn. Recovery. No dino madness. But um, what's happening here? Ongoing breach. Lose one follower per dino. I'm assuming that's... Well, it's not my turn. Assuming the active player will. Ongoing breaches. Probably chuckling. Center can have a separate ongoing date this by placing that card below the respective agenda cards. At the end of the active descent, you're going to remove one dino chosen ramp. Dino attack card. Any. Don't go. At the end of the act of this, one dino, dino attack card. If there's two dinos on it, no followers are lost. Happening, so I'm confused by that. Completely confused by that. Okay, so my turn. This, but a power that's the thing I don't know where it's happening it has to be happening instead of power I can't put one if it That. Act. Counterattacks are after actions. Okay, so I'll deal with counterattack in a little. Or he.
Rampage. Either have to just a rampage. So rampages happen Take the Dino Attack card with a failed defense card and place it next to your player board. Place the Dinos in, shown in the section of the Dino Attack card from the original supply onto the card. Then, if there are any Dinos on dangerous Dino space adjacent map hexes, place as many of them on the card as, as many as you can. your oh plus two well they should be hard Plus red space. We're supposed to be. Don't understand. Let's see if I. Yeah, it doesn't really say how those get. They only get. They go on the card. How do you add more? That is super not clear. Yeah, I don't know. We'll call this a lot. Um, we'll pardon. This is what we have to kill. Breach is there. We. That's what's happening. So. Then. My turn. We'll counterattack. I can clear this. Card. But I need to do something. I count. Get my die. In some. In light soldier. Gain. I'm gonna light store. I'm gonna gain a valor, and I'm gonna bend this light soldier into. And I will counterattack. Um, defeat all dinos on a breach and gave the savior book. So they defeat. Kill all these, I can only get one. They were tramplers, which they don't hurt me, so I would be fine. And gain the savior bonus, which is another valor and followers. Seven. I know I screwed that up, but I, I, it's not very clear how to do. That. Um, nothing else gets tricked. Construction build. Okay, let's. Okay. A hammer to use. Listen. Build. 
then uh, there are cleared areas. So otherwise, perform possible if an active this has no camps in. There's at least there's at least one cleared area with an empty outpost base. The active the center has at least one settlement remaining. Randomly select one outpost from play. I'll grab the bottom. I put it. Place one of the active. Of the place that the thereabouts there. Right. Oh no, one of your settlements. There is at least one cleared area with an watchtower space. Watchtower. Favorite area. None of this triggers. Nor it doesn't trigger. And you already played. And no dino trick bad place book. One with your highest that one. Oh wait, yours would be military. We're almost done. Oh my god, this is... Okay, so... Here we're gonna now we're over I did miss Then all I could do. That's not so. And this. That's going. Backpack. Cause problem. Cause problems in. Um, life hell. Good job of it. Sustenance twenty. Okay. There are camps on the map. Ignoring camps would breach markers on the following priority order to determine which camp to act, uh, the active to select. So it's and luckily it defended me. Actually, no, it's more favorable over here. 
Oh god, okay. If you go up for me, it's a six. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to spend one valor because you're stupid. Make it six. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> sure. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can poke at this to make it blow up. Hey, what else do we got? Um, uh, nothing happens. We take care of it. Your turn. Place. I have a pub, but you can't be a pub, so you gotta pick something else. Take that. Alright. Oh. Turn. Let me place my last thing and. Okay. I'm actually gonna. Right there that to happen have me spend the low berry drop two influence markers but since i have low berries <laughs> all right uh oh so secondary action is to place my captain Okay, this, two, dominated, not a problem. Okay, have our assembly happen because I die. So the final assembly happens. All right, let's talk about this, nothing. This, one, two, one, two, half. So I'll get two, three, half, one. Here, nothing. Here, one, two, three. Ah! Oh, um, I will gain one. Up there. One, two, four, five. I dominate. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, six. Right, five plus two, seven. So that takes me nine. Woohoo! That was a good. Okay, so now we get uh, two times that. So two times nine, I'm gonna get eighteen. Eighteen approval. That puts me at forty-eight. We look in these zones. Nope, 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 nope. Yes, I get half. I get half. I gained one follower. All right, good night, Matthew. Thanks for joining. Good night. Hope you feel better. Then uh, we are... We're done. So let's do scoring. We obviously fail this thing horribly. Fun.
game ends immediately after the third assembly. Uh, so for every scrap, I gain a f I gain a follower follower. One follower for two, one follower for a story. So one, two, four. So I get four followers. Then for every one of these two, I gain one. So Okay, every dino in my cage. Not enough. Nope. Jack for one dino for what they have, so I'm gonna lose two going down back to forty two. That's it. That's the score, folks. Um I've got forty eight where I'm supposed to five and i've got 42 where i needed 90 eh, fail but that you got to see uh it, it it was a mess i feel like i i don't understand this i tried to read it didn't make sense so somehow my thing is i want to know how they're supposed to be adding i don't and i think uh, not rampages but um uh incursions like when that happens it's supposed to happen but i don't see it happening so i'm not sure I wasn't sure about that. That may have been a mistake, but down here we did fine. And the rest of the boards we did fine. It was just this wasn't making it wasn't clear. I think I did it properly, but I'd probably say look at Paul Grogan's playthrough. He's better at he's better at this game than I am. So um for his uh solo through, or if you can explain it in the description like Alright. That is all. That is it. I'm thin. I am, my brain is tapped. So I'm going to get out of here, let you all enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, my patrons, my YouTube subscribers. And if you're neither, thanks for coming and let me know. I showed you a setup. So the setup's solid. I showed you the play, and we're good. Um, I think this might end the series. I was going to look at the mini campaign, but if we go mini campaign, basically, just you play episode one and episode two with a continued story. I don't like episode two. I like episode one. So I think. This is probably going to be, we'll get back to Isofarian Guard next week. So we'll see where that goes and I'll have better luck. This was tough. This was hard. But I don't know. Um, you let me know if you like it or not or what you like about this one or not. I have Legacy of You, Brian. I do have it to bring out, but um, I, I plan to play Legacy of You. I think that's going to be like a Sunday play or something. So I have it. I will be playing it just. I also need to put, I also need to bring that back to the table, and I have another game that was requested by, so you'll see. But yes, I will be playing, I will be playing. Alright, thanks everybody. I hope you have a good evening. Um, I'm sure I made tons of mistakes on this. I am not a player. Um, I'm getting into Euros, and I think it's heavy. So, anyway, thanks so much. Just know I love you, and there's absolutely nothing you could do. Bye, everybody.